You might laugh because every time I sign my name, I put a gold star after it, but it's a metaphor, and metaphors are important. My gold stars are a metaphor for me being a star. I'm so sorry. I fully understand if you want to beat me up. I'm not mad at you. All you did is what I wasn't brave enough to do. Tell the truth. Hey, I had something I wanted to talk to you about. Oh, please, not another pregnancy. I, I think that you and I are a little bit more similar than you think. That's a terrible thing to say. I know you're lonely. We're gonna win nationals this year. And you know how we're gonna do that? Because we have you. That's true. That's 12 people who love you just for being exactly the way that you are. Look, I know you're lonely, but you're not alone. So, I was wondering if you would maybe wanna sing a duet with me. I think you'll be really happy with my song. Selection is sort of everything that both you and I love. But the uh, duet competition is over. I know. I just, I thought this one could be for me and you. Hey. You know, I don't have a date to prom either. I just wanted to be Cinderella. Just for one night. One night where a guy would would look at me under those corny crepe paper streamers and say, you look so beautiful. And then he grabbed my hand and asked me to dance. Isn't that what prom is supposed to be about? You're not gonna go to prom alone. But go with me. It's even more depressing. I have a plan. Maybe it isn't. We want to join the team. We thought about that, but the truth is, is that you guys don't really need us to play. You just need enough players out there to field a regulation team. So when they snap the ball, we're just gonna lie down on the ground. We're just gonna lie there. No, I'm not. I'm gonna bring the pain. I guess they won't get hurt if you stay down. Okay, what do your parents have to say about this? We all have signed permission slips from them. It took some convincing, but they understood what it means to all of us. Shelby Corbin fired. She's sleeping with Puck. Look at me. Look at me. That is a really, really dangerous rumor to make up, okay? You're gonna ruin her entire reputation. That's the plan. And it's not a lie. I heard it from Puck. First of all, Puck is 18, so what he and Shelby are doing, even though it's just wrong and so gross. It's not illegal, so all you're doing is you're just, you're getting her fired, which is gonna take away her income to provide food and clothes and, and put a roof over her child's tiny little blonde head. Sounds like an unfit mother, and I'll be waiting in the wings when they take Beth away from her. Beth loves her mom. Shelby is her real mom. Look, you've done a lot of really bad things, Quinn, but if you tell people about this Puck and Shelby thing, you'll be ruining this little girl's life, and then you'll have really hit rock bottom. I got your text. Why did Her Royal Highness summon a commoner like me? Okay, that was a little rude, but I know I had it coming. Look, I had an epiphany, and you were right, okay, about everything. I don't want to be sheltered from the world. I want to live in it. So, let's go. I have rehearsal and you have class. Let's take the subway. No, I can't. I'm... No, together. Look, I know that you're a little shaken up about what happened, but trust me, I took Rob Maga's child with the JCC, and I can protect you. So what about the limo? Town car. I gave it up. I told my producers I'd be in a much better place if I rode the subway with my friend every day. Every day? Well, if you'll have me. Look, I will make you a deal. I'll ride the subway with you and make sure that you don't get mugged again if you give me a tongue lashing if I lose my way. I can do that. Okay. I'm really happy that you're in New York. The city is a much less scarier place with a friend. And I'm really happy you dragged me back down here because I really do love it. <laughs>